Glad to hear vault Tech actually took care of some of their people. You hear these rumors, right, about him just throwing folks to the wolves. Here's some rations and a fancy suit. Good luck. Well, don't you worry that smooth little face of yours. You are in good company now. Because around here, we look after one another. Now, what can I do for you? Allergies. Learn the hard way. I can't stand within 10 feet of a strawberry. <laughs> Come on, man. That's a joke. Truth is, I was outside on doomsday. Now, you see, I drove security. And I was coming back from a pickup in the truck when I feel this rumble. And then quiet. Then a whole lot less quiet. And the truck was hit with this wind. And it was like someone dropped a hurricane on it. I can hear it battering the truck. Bang, 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 like it's got a grudge against it. And then I unlock the door and into the back. And then, bang, I wake up, man. And it's crazy. Somehow, in the back of the truck, alive and kicking. And all it cost me was my skin and any opportunity for someone liking me for anything other than my lovely personality. And that was the day I became, well, they call us schools, not the most flattering name, but still beats being vaporized. I mean, it's got its advantages. Main one is that radiation rolls off me like water off a duck's ass. Can stride through a blast zone like it's a spring breeze. Also means I can survive in situations that would turn a normal person into a TV dinner. The major downside? Well, shit, you're looking at it, right? Head to toe disfiguration. There's also, well, you might have seen them. Not all ghouls are sane. Not sure how it happens, why some ghouls lose their minds and others don't. But ever since I turned, there's always this nagging feeling just at the back of my mind that I will have to feast on humans! Ser seriously? Nothing? Shit, I thought it was funny. Overall, though, being a ghoul makes bag. Can't say I'd recommend it as a lifestyle choice. Listen, friend, you happen to be talking to the exact right person to fix your predicament. But if I'm going to help you, I want something in return. All right, listen, I got this plan. You're going to help me get rich. See, the folks who made it big off the gold rush, they weren't the prospectors. They were the folks that sold them their shovels. Now, I don't do shovels. What I collect is knowledge. I can go all sorts of places you folks with your rad sucking skin can't. So, I'm selling what I've got between my ear holes, and you're gonna test it for me. I've made these hollow tips. Now, this sets all the info I dug up about that camp doohickey you bolters got. All I'm asking is you give them a listen and let me know what you think. It's the only voice I got, so yeah, that's what you're gonna hear. Now you want them or not? You will? Oh, thank you. I mean, <clears throat> thanks. Just come back once you've taken them out for a test drive. Now, is there anything else you wanted to chat about? Some other time then. First time, remember to crap. Where'd they know? Oh, here we go. Remember to take the lay of the land. Consider the grade of the terrain, general defensibility, and proximity to your surroundings. Could that cliff edge be used to protect your flank? You bet your chops it could. Once you've found the perfect spot, it's time to move on to the best part of working with your camp. Construction! 
Construction can be an intricate process, so a steady hand and an eye for detainment. <clears throat> detail. Damn, I had to. An eye for detail. This highway is under the protection of the responders.
Overseer's log, south of all. Message uploaded. Initiating broadcast pulse. Attention, all consumers. New business established. Please seek out Crane Treasure Hunting Incorporated to exchange goods and services. Initiate tagline. Follow the sign to Fortune. Broadcast complete. Whoa, you're not Crane. The hell's going on here? Crane found the treasure. Holy shit. Where is he? The wayward, huh? It might be I pay the place a visit. Appreciate the tip, not Crane. Good luck out here. Duchess at the Wayward. I'll pay them a visit. Thanks again. I hope the real crane's all right. Crane? This it? Thought you were some kind of big shot. So, rumor is you've got information our boss wants. You tell me where this treasure is, and he's willing to leave you alone. Scout's honor. How about you just tell me where the treasure is, and if I like what I hear, I'll tell you where you can hand in your application. You think we're idiots? The only thing in 76 are a bunch of wimpy, soft-shelled rich kids that got to nap away the apocalypse. Now, start flapping. Or things are gonna get messy. No, you first. No, you first. No, you first. No, tell me what I want to know. Okay, fine. We're at the West Virginia Lumber Company, okay? There. Now tell me where the hell the treasure is. Well, I guess we'll just have to find the treasure some other way. Because you are dead!
Well, you don't look too worse for wear. You managed to figure out where those miscreants are hiding? Fantastic. So that's where their boss will be. You just need to... Wait, wait West Virginia lumber? <laughs> that is not right. You misheard them for sure. And that's of concern. Why, exactly? Was wandering up that way not too far back. The lumber company? That place was overrun with a bunch of those big green bastards. Mutants. You've seen those Frankensteins. If this gang was able to clean those things out of the mill, Duchess, these guys might be tougher than advertised. Hmm. You got any recommendations on how you'd proceed? Well, I wouldn't go in guns blazing, unless you got some big guns. Could try and luck your way inside, maybe see if they want to talk to you. But there was this family I ran into up that way that I'm sure has had to deal with them already. There was also this, uh, let's say, special scrapper who was making some pretty bold claims about his knowledge of the mill. Wouldn't be a bad idea to check in with either of them. You'll find them at Anchor Farm, if these thugs haven't already run them off. But if they are still there, well, they probably managed to work something out with them. Hey, it couldn't hurt to find out what it was. Found him living in the stalls at Tyler County Fairground. Guy kept claiming he knew the best way to run the mutants out of the mill. But, listen, I couldn't get him to spill how. Probably have a better chance he'll share what he learned with someone who still has an entire face. Well, that's a good thing, because that's all I've got. If you haven't already explored up that way, the fastest route back would be via Vault 76 and trekking north from there. And take care of yourself, all right? You're doing us a big one here.
plenty of unclaimed space up the road. Maybe you should give it a visit. West Virginia, no. Don't know anything about them. Now I'd like you to leave. I'm sure what I know is none of your business. Now, how about you take a hike? Just like everyone else, except we like our privacy. Trying to let you know you're trespassing. Free to leave whenever you like. Treasure. Nothing but trouble. We'd hope to start new lives here. Private ones. So much for that. Bye. Asking about that gang? Papa keeps listening to that tape of them. He seems sadder every time he does. Maybe you could take it? It's in the safe under the stairs.
the hell out of you. Oh, yeah. You're not one of those creeps. Well, you, you, you here to rob me? With jokes on you, don't got nothing. Ah, uh, you talk to the well done guy, huh? Now, yeah, I got a little trick up my sleeve. Could kill them all if I wanted. But I'm not just giving it away. You gotta get me something. Island nearby's got a big nest in it. Bring me an egg? I'll give you what I got. Something nasty enough that I don't want to do it? Up to you, though. Government-issued astral transporter. Snagged it on my way out of the lab. Takes your physical form and drops it right into the astral plane. Makes you nearly invisible! Makes it a whole lot easier to take folks out of this world at the same time. Makes you invisible, not agile. I can't run so good since I escaped from the government. But I bet you can. Mind the locals out there.
find me my egg? Well, hello. That is a beauty. When you're hatched, you're gonna call me Papa. Here, those are my end of the bargain. Make the most of them. What is it? Oh yeah? What's the password? Go on through.
and avoid the river. Unless you like swimming in mutant guts. No one's heard from Batter. Suspect he finally managed to get himself killed. <laughs> Batter was a long shot anyway. Always figured it'd take someone coloring with a full box of crayons to find us our prize. You the one with the password? Presume someone gave it to you because they thought you could be useful. Name's Roper. Now, explain to me why the hell you're taking up my air. And I want a diamond-studded vertebrate. So I guess that means we're both left wanting something. Explain to me why you should get yours. That's so. You bring me that treasure, then yeah, you have a place here. Well? What are you waiting for? Go find my pot of gold. Found my treasure yet? Chop, chop. Don't try and screw me on this. You won't like the results. You're back. You managed to get those punks out of our hair yet? Oh, is that all? <laughs> I guess I should have specified how I would have liked this to be resolved. I suppose it's on both our heads to find this treasure then. But you did good. Shows maybe you could be trusted. Maybe. But there's still the issue of my missing muscle. They went out chasing some unsavory characters. Never came back. They're two of the tougher cookies I've met in my day. So them being gone this long means something happened. You track them down? Maybe I remember a thing or two about this crane fella. Music to my ears. Missing person number one's named Polly. Got a transmitter in her. You could track her with your little radio there. Missing person number two goes by Saul. Those two are closer than toes and bad stilettos. So if you find one, 
The other's likely close by. Find them for me, and I'll pay you for the privilege of getting to yell at them in person. Appreciate it. Polly's tracking frequency is 99.7. The once proud home of Appalachia's smooth jazz. I figured someone should get some use out of it. Find out what happened to him. If I need to find new people, I'd like to at least ensure I tried to do right by the old ones.